Hey guys, so uh, just a quick update for you. Today I'm, I'm actually feeling really good. Um, we had really bad news yesterday that um, Ellie's granddad died uh, yesterday morning. So Ellie's pretty much in pieces at the moment. Um, putting a good face on it as usual, but I know she's in pieces, so um, I'm trying my best to be there for her. Um, and she has to be there for her mum because it is a mum's dad so yeah um, that was yes yesterday it was a complete write off of a day that happened and then in the afternoon obviously it's not of any weighty not of any like I'm not comparing the two or anything but my therapist discharged me um, I put it on Facebook you know on Facebook I haven't spoke about it in my blogs and that because there's no point I don't want to dwell on negative stuff I had maybe two hours where I had a weird slow panic attack kind of like shock kind of thing I felt really dizzy and cold I had a hot chocolate even though it was 27 degrees um, Celsius so yeah um, but I got over that and obviously I know I'm better off without her and I can go to the doctor and go down other avenues now um, so yeah with this video I just wanted to say that I've started, because um, I haven't done a video in a while, I've started a motivation sheet, I've started a daily goal sheet which are up on the wall next to my bed, um, I fill them both in at the end of the night, I've got 13 goals, um, three of them are like, have goals within goals, that's why it's 13 not 10, but they're all well attainable, um, with one, the big one being going out twice a day, um, so that's the one I'm working towards being able to do. On top of that, um, I've also started deconstruction, pan deconstructing the pan big panic attacks I have, writing down when, where, who, why. I've done a little like flow chart, saying what what happened at certain stages and what the thoughts were accompanied with them. Then I'm doing an afterthoughts, analysing each stage logically with a clear mind, and then the outcome. Um, so I did one for a panic attack idea two days ago, and um, I've put that on both my blogs. I've started two blogs. I've got a Tumblr and an e-blogger. I don't know if they're called e-blogger now. Blogger. Um, I'll put the links at the bottom. I've done two because some people don't like Tumblr. I don't have accounts. and you can, I don't think you can view Tumblr. I mean, you can view Tumblr without accounts, but some people prefer them to the other. So I'm posting exactly the same on the blogger and the Tumblr. So either one you want to follow, if you want to follow, obviously it might not. Um, so yeah, I'm doing that. And on there, I'm talking through things more. I'm doing like three times a day updates about how I'm feeling and how I'm conquering stuff. I've done the deconstruction, which has a picture of the sheet I did, and it filled out so you can see the kind of stuff I've done with it. Uh, I've discussed my motivation sheets and stuff. So I can go into more detail on there, on stuff I can't in the videos, because the videos, I don't want to just post a two-minute video of me just saying, I feel bad right now, blah, 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 blah. Um, so, yeah. If you are interested, go check them out. I'll put the links in the description box thing. Um, also, as always, if you want to add me on Facebook, I'm happy to chat to anyone about it, whether you're dealing with it or not. As long as you're happy to listen to me as well. So find me on Facebook. Um, just drop me a comment saying you want to put me on Facebook and I'll, I'll add you. Um, and of course, I'll keep things quiet if you want me to keep them quiet. I understand people find this need to deal with these things in their own way so I'm not I'm not trying to like influence you and tell you what to do or anything like that um, purely looking to help and get help yeah so uh, as you can hear I've got music on now I my meditation yeah, I have music on when I'm meditating um, and hopefully that's been working well I've only been doing it in the morning when I should be doing it morning and evenings um, but obviously with, I only started yesterday and yesterday morning I did it before we knew about Ellie's granddad and then obviously I was on my own all day yesterday so I had to be there for Ellie when she got home so I don't have time to do it which is fine um, yeah and I don't really know what to say it's fucking hot so I can't I wanted today to attack going out and um, like attack going out, I just repeat myself I think, um, but I couldn't because it's too hot, and I don't want to go out, get hot and sweaty and then spend the day feeling like shit, panicking and worrying, uh, yeah, stupid things, but it's what have happened, 
So it's meant to cool down from tomorrow onwards and if it rains, I love going out and walking in the rain and I love going out after it's rained, so that's, there's an incentive there. Um, definitely. Um, so yeah. Uh, pretty good actually, to be fair. Quite a good video. Quite a beat. Um, I just feel like because I've got these sheets of paper and I'm, and I'm writing them down and I've, I've chosen it myself and I've come up with it myself that I've got a proper plan together now to attack this and beat it and if it doesn't work, which it will, if it doesn't work, medications that I'm going to look into but I'm pretty sure it will work and um, I'm doing a lot more during the day than I was. I mean I was spending this eight hours, I mean I have ten hours a day on my own um, and since uni finished I ain't got much to do. And I used to spend, what, eight of those hours sat on the computer. And now, I'm up 15 minutes every hour tidying or putting stuff away or just walking about. Uh, so that's what, over 10 hours, that's 15 minutes an hour. That's five, so half an hour every two hours. Two and a half hours? Yeah. Yeah, two and a half. So that's two and a half hours a day I'm spending doing stuff, which is good. Um back on track with eating healthy again uh, drinking the water, completing my daily goals and trying to do something every day that pushes me a little bit don't know why I couldn't do it before but you seem to think that when it's in your head that you, that's the best place you'd be you'd have to write it down but you just lose it in there um, so yeah I'm feeling quite confident about it still feeling like shit daily but I've, I've broken the cycle of when I have a bad panic attack letting it drag on for a few days and making me feel like shit I've broken that that's over now i'm concentrating on feeling better in myself daily so that i'm at my best emotional peak to fight the panic attacks um so yeah uh thanks for people that have been commenting as always if you want to chat more find me on facebook go to one of these blogs add me look me up whatever um yeah cheers bye